degrees and sun heat Just the way I always wanted Tell but I got to upside The bluebirds peaceful to sing along That I love you Oh, 그때야 난바이 거리래 걸어요 Paris Day of Oh, 난 그저 잔대 밭에 놔 있어도 좋아요 Chucky Eiffel Tower Shines from anywhere out on the wall When I'm not with you All these shiny Hello cozy friends, welcome or welcome back to the Cozy Hermit channel If you're new here, my name is Lynn And I have been a, a huge hermit lately Because uh, I was dealing with a cold at the end of December And like practically over January I've been struggling with this cold which means that I didn't really go out except for when I like really had to such as when I had to do some grocery shopping but that was it like I went for one little walk not too long ago but that was it and I am feeling better last week I, I've really recovered well but because I haven't gone out for such a long time I just felt really really reluctant to go out I didn't want to leave my home, but I kicked myself in the butt this afternoon because it is so beautiful. So I just really felt like I had to go out for this walk. And I am so glad that I did because it is January, but it kind of feels like early spring today. I don't know, it's like it's still cold, but it's a nice kind of cold. So I'm just really, really happy that I decided to go for this walk. Um, what else? Anyway, last week I've been really busy with doing lots of video editing and that was practically all I did. So I have decided that I'm just going to find some chill this weekend and next week uh, it's going to be a very productive week and I'd like to invite you to come along with me. Uh, but it's going to be a week with a bit more variety than I had last week because all I did was like, I don't know, pull back into my editor's cave because that's really, that's really what it feels like. It's like the entire world just disappears when I'm editing videos. <laughs> and it's really, it's a great feeling. I love video editing. It's really one of my most favorite parts of uh, vlogging actually. But after doing it full time for several days, my brain just turns to mush. So I need to demush my brain. So um, anyway, I've got some really cool things planned for this week. I wanna, well, I wanna do a bit of video editing. I need to finish a video and then I need to make some shorts, some reels for Instagram. So I think I'll do that Monday. But the rest of the week, I want to make time for uh, photography for my Instagram. I want to edit those photos naturally. What else do I have got planned? Um, I want to do some journaling too. And um, also, it's going to be a fun week because on Thursday, it will be February 1st. And that will be Natsuki's very first birthday. And uh, Natsuki, Natsuki is my cat. Um, anyway, we are actually not entirely sure that February 1st... Oh, it's Nosy Bird again! Um, that February 1st is like her official birthday, but that's like what the vet kind of estimated for us. Uh, because we found Natsuki last summer on our balcony. Um, has probably been abandoned by her former owners, we don't know for sure. So we cannot tell exactly how old she is, but... Um, we, we just um, decided to take the vet up on their estimation. So her birthday will be on Thursday. I've actually ordered her a new toy and it should be delivered today. And I've actually ordered some really cool stuff for myself. I ordered some origami paper and some washi tape for my journaling. So uh, hopefully that'll come in today and then I can do like a little unboxing. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. Anyway, this is going to be a really fun week and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. So anyway, I'm just going to enjoy my walk and uh, enjoy this surprise. 
surprisingly nice weather. It's like spring, honestly, it's amazing. Really needed this. So yeah, I'm already super glad that I kicked myself in the butt and decided to go for a walk and stop being a total hermit. There's plenty of enough time to be a hermit later this weekend. So anyway, less talking, more walking. are these doing here okay suddenly there are rocks all along this path they weren't there before they are kind of pretty though so that's pretty cool interesting so when I just first saw those rocks from a distance I honestly thought they were sheep <laughs> and I was like what are sheep doing there but they weren't sheep they were rocks and apparently I play way too many farming sims Anyway, um, I'm on my way home now. It's getting a little bit chillier, <laughs> so it's definitely still winter, but kind of feels like spring still, but with, with a wintry edge. But it was a beautiful walk, but I'm already excited about the idea to be home again. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make myself a nice cup of tea. So I'll see you then. <laughs>
Watching sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, golden, golden day. In spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird sing. Golden, I'll follow him. Golden, golden, golden things. Gold hair, gold rings. Feet step over splinters of the moon.
just finished reading Tempest in a Teapot. I can finally remember the correct title. I mentioned the wrong title in the previous two videos. But anyway, I, I'm back in the game. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed Tempest in a Teapot. It was such a fun and cute read. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. And I would really recommend it if you're looking for something very lighthearted, um, funny, and also quite romantic so it, it's a really really cute book i've seen that there are more sequels to this book so i'm curious about that so definitely check that out soon um but anyway as for my next book i was actually i planned to read i think it's called emily wilde's encyclopedia of fairies that was supposed to be my next book but tomorrow is going to be february 1st and I always feel that February is all about Valentine's Day. It kind of feels like the month of love, of romance. So I was thinking maybe it might be fun to start with another book. And a couple of days ago, I got an email from BookBub, which I am subscribed to. It's free and they keep you notified of new books that are coming out in genres that you are interested in. And um, which books are currently at a discount or even free. Um, and they recommended this book to me called In Five Years. And hi and it looks really really interesting it's about a young woman and her her boyfriend proposes to her uh, hi it's suki darling okay that's suki's leaving then i'll just bring you guys a little bit closer here i am again hi once more it's about this young woman who gets proposed to by her boyfriend and she says yes but then she goes to sleep at night and she has a very strange dream which takes place five years in the future and she dreams of a life in which she is married to another man. She wakes up the next morning, she's like, that's a weird dream and she moves on with her life. Then five years later, unexpectedly, she sees the man who she was married to in that particular dream. So that sounds really intriguing, like kind of magical and romantic and I don't know, probably tragic. We'll see, but I think of getting the ebook. I think it might be like a cute, fun treat for myself for February. So I'm going to read that one first. And after that, I'm going to read the fairy book. I'm really excited for that one. My sister already read it and she told me that I would definitely love it. So I'm really excited for that one too. So anyway, um, I think that is it for me right now. Um, I'm actually a little bit tired today. I didn't sleep too well because uh, last night a neighborhood cat jumped on top of the fence of my balcony and kind of started to claim the balcony as its territory. And um, Natsuki did not agree with that. She tried to get outside and yeah, she was like making lots of noise. And I just tried to like pull her back away from the balcony door and the window. They, they were closed. She can't go outside. We really are keeping her as a house cat uh, for her own safety too. And I'm really glad that we do because if she'd be able to go onto the balcony last night, I think it would have ended up in a fight and I don't want to think about that so yeah that was a really really messy night she's really really tired today she's really calm so i just hope that the other cat will stay away this night and that we can all sleep peacefully but yeah anyway um tomorrow is going to be Natsuki's birthday i'm going to do some journaling going to add my first entries for february and um that's when we will talk again so catch you in a bit
So cozy friends, happy February. I know that by the time that this video has gone live and that you're watching this, it's already halfway February. So in that case, I hope that the mom has been treating you good so far. But anyway, for me, we are traveling back in time and um, it is February the 1st and the weather is amazing. It is so beautiful. It is pretty cold though, which I felt while I went for my walk. But I am pretty proud of myself because I went for a walk twice within the same week. I'm doing well. So as for February, I've actually come up with this plan to have like new resolutions for each and every month. Instead of like only re resolutions for the new year as we had at the start of January. I was like, why not have resolutions for each and every month? Because because it's kind of easier to keep track of them and it's like less intimidating because you can like divide it into smaller pieces. As for my resolutions for February, I um, want to keep my yoga going. I've actually finished my 30 day yoga journey yesterday, last night. It was wonderful. It was a great experience again. It was my first time to do a, a 30 day yoga journey with Yoga with Adrienne. I can only recommend it. It is, it is really amazing. It's so good for not just your physical health, but also your mental health. So um, it's, yeah, I really, really benefit from it. So um, also the reason that I didn't show you anything of my 30 day yoga journey, like didn't share anything, didn't film anything is because my sister decided to join me at the start of January. So it's kind of harder to film it when there are two people in the same room. And I wasn't sure my sister would have liked it either. <laughs> so she hadn't done yoga in a while, but she's, uh, she's doing much better too. And she wants to keep yoga going as well. Anyway, that's like one of my health goals for February. Also, I want to start doing some uh, fitness again. I want to pick that up again. So I'm thinking of doing some light cardio workouts. So I am very excited for that. Another resolution is to work more on the book I want to write. I actually sat down yesterday at the end of the day. Didn't film that because it was way too dark. And I wrote down like the entire concept of my story, of my book. And I am getting really excited for it. Like everything just makes sense. It just seems right. So can't wait to work more on that. Like the only problem I have now is that I've only got a name for my main character and her cat. But I have no names for any of the other characters. So I need to do some research for that. Um, so yeah, that's like my next step. Hi, City. Look, it's a birthday girl. Hi. And also another personal thing I am really excited for in February is that on the very final day of February, February 29th, Final Fantasy VII Rework will release. I cannot wait, I cannot wait. So you will definitely see me playing that game in March. But um, anyway, those are my plans and resolutions for February. And I think this is a nice way to end this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me on this week. It was very productive, very diverse, really, really fun and exactly what I needed after last week, after editing like nonstop. I've really recharged and now I'm like super excited to start editing this video too. So I'll do that um maybe this weekend or next week i know we'll see so yeah i hope that you enjoyed your time too and i just want to say thank you so much for joining me and um if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like button maybe even subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys again next week as well in the next video and until we meet each other again as always stay cozy